If you're looking to improve your video editing and make your videos more interesting, I'll give you five editing tips that every editor should know. The first tip is to be organized. Before you start working on your project, make sure you create a folder with the name of your project. In my case, it will be five tips for better video editing. Then in this folder, create subfolders, for example, with your animations, with your sound effects, with your A-roll, with your B-roll, and with your music. And then next time, when you go into your video editing software, grab the whole folder and just drop it inside it. And when you start working on it, you have everything organized and this is going to save you tons of time. Tip number two is to use shortcuts. And what I mean by that is instead pressing C for the razor tool, then grabbing the mouse, make a cut onto the timeline and try it both paths together. You can do this with a press of a button. And doesn't matter what kind of video editing software you use, I bet you have the option to create shortcuts in it. So for example, if you're using Premiere Pro, go up to edit and then go down to keyboard shortcuts. And now I will show you my three shortcuts that I use most of the time to trim and cut videos in Premiere Pro. So the first time will be add edit to all tracks. So I'll click on it and then drag it and drop it onto W. Then the second one will be repo trim previous edit to playhead. And then the third one will be repo trim next edit to playhead. And then I'll drag it and drop it onto Q. So I'll click on OK. And now the playhead will be our razor. So for example, if if I want to make cuts over here, I'll press W and this will make cut to all tracks. But let's say that I want to get rid of this part over here. So hit on Q and this will delete everything on the right after the playhead. Then I'll move the cursor to somewhere over here because I want to make another cut over there. Then I'll press E and this will delete everything on the left before the playhead. And believe me, this will instantly speed up your editing. Tip number three is very important because I bet a lot of us, including myself, are wasting a lot of time while doing it. And I will say it, leave your phone and stay away from social medias while you're working on your project. You might think, let's go to Insta, check few stories, watch few reviews, and then well, I'll go to TikTok, watch videos there, and probably I'll go to YouTube Shorts, and all of a sudden, that is one hour wasted. Bam, just like corn. And no one will give you back this one hour of pointless scrolling on your phones. Instead, you should focus on your project and trust me, you're gonna see the difference straight away. Going to tip number four is to use sound effects and background music because this will make your videos more interesting and will draw people's attention. Instead, having a plain video without any background music or sound effects. And to prove you that, I'll show you the same video in two different lights. So first I'll play the video without sound effects and without any background music. And now I'm going to show you the same video with the sound effects and background music. And the perfect place to find tons of sound effects and tons of copyright free music is Epidemic Sounds. And for the record, this is not a paid partnership. It's just a product that I'm using on a daily basis and I'm really happy with it. And if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And now going to the fifth tip, it's speed ramping. And if you don't know what is a speed ramping, it's self-explanatory. We're gonna speed up part of the video and then slow it down. So here we got this video with a guy and a car in the desert. It's a nice video, but it's a little bit boring. And to make it more interesting, I've got the same video in Premiere Pro and the next thing I'll do is go to this FX icon and click with the right button. From there, I'm gonna go down to time mapping and select speed. And now we've got this line at the middle of the video. So this is gonna allow us to speed up and slow down parts of this video. So to do that, I'll hold control and you can see that now the cursor has a plus. So I will click over there and create a keyframe and I'm gonna move to over here and create another keyframe. And now this part, what I will do it, I will speed it up by going up. So I will speed it up to around, let's say 713. Now with these two keyframes, what we can do is click onto the first one and we've got two sliders. So I'm gonna move the right slider to the right. Then I'm gonna do exactly the same with the first slider of the second keyframe and move it to the left. And again, I'll go back to the first slider. And when I click on it, we've got these two blue little handles. So I'll click on it and drag it to the right. And then I'll do exactly the same with the second keyframe. And when I play the video again, we've got this cool speed ramping. So guys, that's my five tips for better video editing. And if you find this video useful, 
I would appreciate if you hit the like button and also if you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.